Hello, welcome back to yet another Inspired Express end user operation training video. Today, we're going to be looking at scheduling. With Inspired Express, scheduling content is actually really easy. It's all calendar driven and it's all drag and drop like most things in Inspired Express. Now, we're still working from the same project file we've been working from. I've made a few changes here and we're going to look at that in a moment. Now, you can use a schedule to drive all the content in your sign or just a particular sign element. And we're actually going to work from that approach to scheduling and we're going to create a particular sign element that we can then use in a later video. Now I've created a folder here called Food Slides and inside there are four different SVG files here for breakfast, lunch, snack, and supper. I'll let you look at the breakfast one. You can see how that works. It says got breakfast and we got a playlist playing pictures. And the same is for lunch. and snack and supper. These different playlists are just playing different pictures here and the idea is that these pictures are going to be playing at different times of day and that's generally the idea behind the schedule that we're going to create. I'm going to go ahead and close this for now and I'm going to create a schedule that's going to use these four slides here on a schedule. And to create a new schedule, you just right click, new schedule, and we have new.ics, that's a new schedule, and you just right click and rename, and we're just going to rename this food.ics. And I'm going to double click to open. And you see here, it's just a calendar, and all we're going to do is drag and drop our items onto the calendar. Now we can view the calendar yearly, monthly, weekly, or daily, and we're going to view daily. So breakfast, to add breakfast on the screen, you just click it and you just drag. And we're going to drag over here to the 5 o'clock hour and let go. Now that ended up driving at 540. It wasn't exactly where I wanted, but I can just manipulate it here. Go to 5. And I can stretch the time here and stretch that as far as I want. Let's do it to the 11 o'clock hour. And that's 11.05, so that's not exactly what we want. 11 o'clock. And we do the same thing for lunch. You want to be sure you have a plus sign whenever you're dropping the items. Remember, if you have an arrow, that's going to replace that item. We want a plus sign, so it's adding. And we'll do the same thing for snack and supper. Okay, so now I have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, as well as a snack here. Now I want snack to also display for the late night hours from 9 o'clock p.m. to 5 o'clock a.m. And now if I dial this in to 12 o'clock p.m. it's going to disappear. So I want it to be 12 o'clock a.m. But even at 12 o'clock a.m. it's still not showing up. But that's because it's 3-5 which is today at 12 o'clock a.m. So you want to say to display until the next day at 12 a.m. And so then you can see that there. I'm just going to dial this up to 5. And there we go. Our schedule's full, at least for one day. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to categorize these. Because right now everything is orange and it's hard to see. I can actually color code them using the category feature. Now I'm going to leave the snacks orange because there's multiple of these. That means there's less to change. But I'm going to adjust the breakfast, lunch, and dinner and make them a different color. So I'm going to take breakfast. And I'm going to categorize that one. Oh, let's just do green. There we go. And that looks good. Now I know where breakfast, lunch, and dinner are and when the snack signs are displaying. So now that I've got a full schedule for a day, I'm going to make these repeat. And the way to make them repeat is just select one of your sign elements and then you click the repeat checkbox. And then I need to set the pattern. This is going to be the pattern for how it's repeating. And it can recur every day. Right now it's set to recur every day forever. So it's going to repeat every single day the same, which is actually what we want. But I could do it every other day. I could do it every two days, three days, four days. I could do it every week, every month, every minute. I could do it for a period of time. If you have a special that you're running for a couple weeks and you want to run the sign for just a couple weeks, well, then you can do your until. You can end after a certain amount of times. 
And there's all sorts of advanced parameters in here too that you can really do some complex scheduling if you really need to tweak your scheduling. But this is fine for us right now, so I'm just going to click OK. And I'm going to do the same thing for each of these. Just select it, and then do repeat, and adjust the pattern. And there we go, our sign is adjusted, and we've set our pattern. So let's apply this. Okay, now that we've applied our schedule updates, and right now, because it is 10.57, the uh, sign is displaying breakfast. Now, if I adjust this, then we can see what's displaying at different times of the day. Now, if I adjusted it and I said it was 12.57, well, then it's lunchtime, and we're going to see the lunchtime sign. And if I adjust it to 15.57 or 3.57, because it's a 24-hour clock, if I set it to 15.57, then we're going to see, well, 3.57 in the afternoon is snack time. And then if we adjust it later, 19.57, well, then that's supper time. And we can see the supper time sign playing. And we can even adjust the date, too. So if you have things displaying every other day, you can go and say, okay, well, what's displaying tomorrow at 18.57? Well, it's supper. And if you ever want to check and make sure you have your repeating set right, you can go to month or to week. You can see they're displaying this week. It started on Friday. We didn't have anything scheduled before, so we don't see anything until Friday, which is when our scheduling started. But as of today, everything's going to repeat daily. I'll show you that. We go next week and see our schedule's full. And then the next week, our schedule's full. Or if we go to year, well, we have something displaying the entire year. Now we have a schedule set up the way we want. So let's go to save and save our changes. Now to use a schedule in your sign, it needs to be within an SVG file because our player is going to be looking for an SVG file to play. So we need to be sure we put food.ics inside of an SVG file. I'm actually going to create an SVG file. I could have created it there, but I'm actually going to create it here in our main section of the sign. I'm going to create a new SVG file. 16 by 9, and just rename this food.svg. Now, if I wanted to use a schedule to drive the entire sign, I would have put the schedule directly into index.svg. I'm just actually just creating one section of our sign, so that's why I'm creating a new SVG file. And then we can use this SVG file inside of a playlist of SVG files, which could then be on our index.svg. There's a lot of different ways that you can use these different SVG files that we've been creating over the course of this video. And if you want to see really how to do that, then you need to watch the nesting video, which can show you how to do that in a little more detail. But let's go ahead and put the schedule inside of food SVG. I'm going to delete that text. I don't need to put a background or anything. All of that's already within our slides that we have on our calendar. All I'm needing to put here is food.svg. So I'm just going to drag that on and let go, and there we got food.svg is right there. I'm going to right click and go to full screen, and whatever content is supposed to be displaying according to our calendar settings here on our display is displaying. So right now it's set to display tomorrow at 1857. That's showing up here. And there you go, there you have a calendar. So as you can see, scheduling content isn't that difficult. It's pretty easy. Just be sure you save your changes. And everything's set up to play. So you can use this to drive all the content on your player or just a section of content, however you want to. There's a lot of different ways you can use this scheduling. So I hope you just get in there and have some fun and explore all the different ways that you can use scheduling in your signs.